Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Shankar Ganesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kutia. I am delighted to present a lecture on the topic Knowledge Management System and Development, which comes under the third module of Information Systems and Knowledge Management. This lecture is meant for semester 5 BCA course of Kerala University. In this lecture, we are going to discuss knowledge management system development cycle. The phases of knowledge management system development cycle are first one identify knowledge, second one validation of knowledge and third one create knowledge. First one identify knowledge. This is the first step in the system. It examines the present knowledge base to see if it is adequate or new knowledge is to be searched to take the new strategy approach. The search for new knowledge becomes imminent because the world around is changing or has changed. The change in the environment may call for a new set of competitive advantages to make it an undisputable differentiator from competition. The knowledge body is never static in business and for the people in the organization. Second one, validation of knowledge. Validation of knowledge is the next step in knowledge management system. The objective of this step is to confirm the relevance, utility and application of knowledge to current problems of the business. In the first phase, we have identified the different knowledge areas entities to focus upon. This is an important step to justify the business case for designing knowledge management system and knowledge management system initiative. In the validation phase, identified knowledge cross-checked with current problems, probable solutions, future trends and the likely strategy approach required to move ahead. This cross-check shortlists the knowledge which knowledge management system should pursue to gain and consolidate. Third one, create knowledge. Creation of chosen knowledge is the next step. Create knowledge includes number of strategies. They are, first one, if knowledge already exists outside the organization. Second one, if knowledge already exists within the organization. Third one, knowledge does not exist. First one, if knowledge already exists outside the organization. It needs procurement. It can be done by purchasing from research bodies, paying consulting organizations to provide knowledge by capturing through systematic methods such as surveys, test exercises, simulation models and so on. Second one, if knowledge already exists within the organization. It needs processing to gather, capture. The organization possesses knowledge and is also aware where it is stored in the information systems, files and folders. A system is needed to process these source of knowledge to produce it in the required form to store and share. Third one, knowledge does not exist. It needs a design of experiment to build. There is a possibility that the identified knowledge does not exist in the organization or not available from external sources. The only alternative is to design an experiment around the subject of concern and conduct for a large sample size or for a reasonable time period to generate input-output data. This data on analysis would provide a new insight into the problem and may throw up some guidelines on resolving the problem. Hence, new knowledge is created. In this lecture, we have discussed the phases of knowledge management system development cycle. Hope all of you have understood the lecture. Thank you.